Hi, welcome to Me Rabbit Hole. Today we look at myths that have persisted for generations. Shaving hair makes them grow darker. Shaving hair has no effect on their natural color or texture. This is a widespread myth. Shaving simply cuts the hair at the surface and has no impact on the hair follicles, which determine the color and structure of the hair. The perception that the regrowing hair after shaving is darker or thicker is based on an optical illusion. The hair that regrows after shaving does not have a changed color or texture compared to before. However, the regrowing hair may appear slightly stronger as they grow with a straighter edge at the top, unlike natural hair which gradually wears down at the tips. Ultimately, the color and texture of regrowing hair depends solely on the individual's genetic traits and hair structure, not on whether they were shaved or not. The five-second rule is a widespread assumption, stating that food that has fallen on the floor for less than five seconds is safe to continue eating. The idea behind it is that contamination by bacteria and dirt occurs only after a certain period, and food can still be safely consumed within this short time span. Although this rule is often applied as a rule of thumb, there is no scientific evidence confirming its effectiveness. Studies have shown that bacteria can be transferred to food almost immediately once it comes into contact with a contaminated surface. Even if food has fallen on the floor for only a few seconds, it may have already come into contact with harmful microorganisms, especially if the surface is dirty or bacteria-laden. So it's best not to drop food or catch it before it touches the ground. Another food myth is that drinking milk increases mucus production. This assumption is often based on subjective experiences and individual sensations. In reality, milk does not contain substances that would significantly increase mucus production in the body. Milk is a complex fluid mainly composed of water, proteins, lactose, milk sugar, fats, vitamins, and minerals. The idea that milk increases mucus production may stem from the fact that milk has a slightly viscous consistency and some people may feel an increased mucus buildup in the throat after consuming milk. Cracking knuckles is a common behavior practiced by many people, although many find this sound very unpleasant. Cracking produces an audible sound caused by the sudden release of gas bubbles in the joint fluid. This process is also called joint manipulation or cavitation. Although some people fear that cracking knuckles can lead to arthritis, there is no compelling evidence to suggest a direct link. Numerous studies have addressed this question and concluded that occasional knuckle cracking is not associated with an increased risk of developing arthritis. Instead, cracking knuckles may lead to temporary stretching of the joint capsule. While the joint capsule is stretched, joint fluid may expand and release gas bubbles, resulting in an audible cracking sound. However, after cracking, the joint capsule and joint fluid usually return to their original state quickly, without leaving long-term effects on the joint. Nonetheless, compulsive or excessive knuckle cracking may potentially lead to irritation or injury of the joint capsule. And remember, cracking knuckles may be your personal drum solo, but your companions might feel like they've landed in an unexpected percussion ensemble. So if you want to keep your joints in check and spare your friend's ears, maybe give your hands a little break from cracking. Your fingers and your surroundings will thank you. The myth that humans only use 10% of their brains is a widespread misconception often cited in popular culture and the media. In reality, however, humans use their entire brains, although certain parts of the brain may be more active than others at different times. Modern imaging techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI) have shown that various brain regions are differentially active during different activities. For example, the visual center of the brain may be particularly active during visual tasks, while the language center may be dominant during language processing tasks. These observations have helped debunk the myth that the majority of the brain remains unused. Each brain is a complex and highly evolved structure composed of billions of neurons and synapses interconnected in complex networks. Each area of the brain has a specific function and is involved in a variety of cognitive, sensory, and motor processes. The myth that humans use only a small portion of their brains may stem from a misinterpretation or oversimplification of neuroscience. So, even if you sometimes feel like your brain is in energy-saving mode, remember, it's like a supercomputer running in the background making you wonder what you were actually looking for in the fridge. The belief that bad weather, especially cold and wet weather, causes colds is also a widespread myth that persists. In reality, however, colds are caused by viruses. These viruses are transmitted through coughing, sneezing, 
direct contact with infected individuals or contaminated surfaces. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, tiny droplets containing the virus are released into the air. If another person inhales these droplets or transfers them to their hands and then touches their face, they can become infected. While weather can influence the spread of cold viruses, it does not directly cause colds in the sense that cold or wet conditions lead to colds. In winter, people spend more time indoors, often in enclosed spaces which can favor the spread of viruses. Additionally, dry indoor air can cause the mucous membranes in the nose and throat to dry out, increasing susceptibility to infections. This contributes to colds being more common in winter. So the phrase bundle up to avoid catching a cold may not necessarily be accurate, but still, it's best not to go out in freezing temperatures in a t-shirt. Carrots improve eyesight. The belief that consuming carrots improves night vision dates back to a historical episode during World War II, when British Royal Air Force pilots claimed that drinking carrot juice improved their ability to see better at night and recognize enemies. This claim was spread as part of a propaganda campaign to conceal the use of radar equipment and to keep enemies in the dark about the actual reasons behind the pilot's improved night vision in the dark. Although carrots are a good source of vitamin A, which is important for eyesight and contributes to the formation of the light-sensitive pigment rhodopsin in the retina's cones, consuming carrots does not grant superhuman abilities in the dark. A balanced diet rich in various nutrients, including vitamin A, is essential for eye health and may help prevent certain eye diseases such as night blindness. So, eating carrots while reading in the evening doesn't bring any benefits. Better turn on the lights and bring out the chocolate because, as we all know, it makes you happy. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment until next time.